So happening guys, so we are at the Rogue Invitational, we are about an hour out, um, so we're just starting to move about, get some aggression pumped into the veins, and then it's go time, deadlift first, so I'll speak to you in a little bit. So excited. I hope the boys win and I'm only here to see them. Brought my little littlest Saltman fan here. Let's go Saltmans. We love you. Yeah, thank you. So that's uh, the deadlift just done, so yeah, I was really happy. My main goal for that was to get some points on the board, which thankfully I did. Um, so yeah, one rep for me, which was... It was a good pull, considering considering like the, the equipment is so wobbly, so... Just on your like, CNS, your core, just wild. But, um, I was... I know a lot of guys would be like, oh, you could have done two, you could have... Like, but I knew I only had one rep in me. When I when I lifted it and put it down, I was seeing stars, and um, I was like, right, okay, I know I've got some points. Let's get get it down and move on to the next one. So, yeah, feeling a lot better now, which is good, a lot more confident. So, I'm happy. It's amazing what some uh, my protein pre-workout does to you. So, Stoltman's for discount. <laughs>
Oh my god, that was insane. It's fucking pull a bull. That was hell. That was probably the the heaviest bull I have ever pulled in my life. I pulled a few bulls in my time, mainly by the testicles. I, honestly, that was one of the toughest things I've had to do. Yeah, yeah, really tough. Um, feeling really poor, Tom. You just probably touched my back, and it's really sweaty. Anyway, see you later. Love you guys. So, we have just had news that the last event today, the log medley, has been cancelled because of the weather. Um, so, yeah, there's the lads. Good luck, boys. Would have been nice to do it, but it's just too wet. The weather's coming in, so our event tomorrow. We go home. For today is done. Today is done. Very happy. Very happy. <laughs> Very happy. Very happy. But uh, tomorrow uh, should be worse <laughs> tomorrow will be that sad again okay. thank you stay spicy right guys so that is event uh day one done we got rain delayed so we had to come back early we were meant to have three events today but we only got two done uh yeah i'm pretty well actually to be honest i'm half and half because in my head i knew that um my the deadlift for me would have been was a very weird event because i never ever used a piece of equipment before and i knew trey uh, Mitchell, Novikov, very good at them things, and then yeah, I didn't. I knew Bobby might have got like maybe six, seven, but I didn't think he'd get as many. So I knew three or four people were going to be above me anyway. Um, and then Trey and Bobby drew, which split points, so it made it even a bit better for myself after that event. So I was happy enough, but um, yeah, I just couldn't. My head couldn't really get into it too much in the first event, but I was still really happy with you know how I performed. I mean, four reps is still it was still a decent number in the end. Um, I really kind of worried after that thinking, you know, no, I'm going to be like in the bottom half of the table, but I was quite quite glad how it, how it turned out anyway. And then, yeah, so then we're going on to the second event. This was the sled, I think, you know, I think there was a lot of problems with this sled uh, during, like, you know, through the night they were trying to t change things. Uh, I think Shaw was testing it and they made it heavier and stuff and they said there was no rope. I think, like, every, every single one of us trained with no rope and bear crawling of oh, a sled is so much different than doing trap pull, uh, like with a rope, sorry, so, or doing it with a rope because with bear crawl you're in different positions and when you've got a rope you, know, you have to practice using it, so that was a last minute thing. Um, so I think it threw everyone off, as you, you guys seen the results, Kierakowski won that event and he was the only person out of every single one to finish it and you see it was Strawers man, nearly I think over half the field won, uh, finished it with a rope and trap, so you know, like you try and get tips off the people that were like testing it or people say so you, you try and have to stay low but you can't stay low with this because there's no momentum when you stay low with a trap pull and squeeze it the wheels move so that you get that momentum every time but with the sled it's just basically well you could see every single person like looked like they couldn't they didn't know how to pull it they were just we were just using our <laughs> like body weight stopping body weight stopping like doing a wee sh things and i don't think it's very spectacular i mean like you know massive condolence to trey mitchell i think um that's when you know that they'd have to look at these events and go, right, we need to make it a spectacle, but we need athlete safety as well. And if it's a lot of problems with it during the night and stuff, I think in my eyes, it would have been good just to take a bit of weight off it, maybe put it to like 450 and just put a flat surface, none of this train drag thick looking things and just, you know, do, do it for time and fat and speed because I think it would be much better. You know, a lot of, like my shoe fell off, Trey hurt himself, uh, a lot of people were slipping Tom Evans as well so like you know it's it was one of them things that was just really brutal um, but I still finished I think fifth in that one I think it was so overall I think I have um, like ten ten and a half points so I think right now it's Mitchell Hooper in the lead and then it's well, I think like 16 or 17 then it's Alexi on 12 then Kielikowski on 11 and a half I think or Evan on 11 and a half then me and Kielikowski on 11 and then Luke on 10 I think so there's all to play for. I was really looking forward to uh, the 
the next event, which was the Fingal Fingers Interlog. I'm being you know well known for the for winning fingers, and then I was just gonna do a you know do a fast log as well. So I was really looking forward to that. So as it stands now, we're doing four events apparently tomorrow, depending on the Texas weather. So it's uh, gonna be an early start. So now it's not uh, a Paul and Axel's first. It is now Fingal's fingers into the log first, and then we're doing a port axis, so we're basically doing two pressings, one after each other, which is going to be so, so hard. I mean, you think we have to use our whole upper body um, tomorrow for the first one, and then we have to do that again for the axle, and then we've got arm over arm, and we've got uh, the duo. So, yeah, it's going to be brutal, because I think, you know, I think all of us wanted to get the free, or I wanted to get the free events done today just because it's upper body, and we'd have got a wee rest, and then, you know, axle's going to be a different ball game now, I think. But, um, it's obviously it's still all to play for, you know, with these kind of events, um, especially the way Rogue set it up, like I think unless you're eight, nine points ahead going into the duel, um, yeah, that's when you can start being like, yeah, I can win. But like, even if you're four or five points ahead going into the duel, anything can happen. Um, if you're knocked out in a, you know, if you're first place five points in the clear and get knocked out in the bottom five, that's you then that's then you, you know, I could mix up the whole podium as well. So it's, there's still a lot of points to play for. So, you know, I'm a, I, I think, I think maybe just a bit, bit fatigued more than I usually am and stuff, but I still put in a, you know, a decent performance, fifth and fifth um, on a, on two things I've never done before, but I really think the sled drag, you know, I think some fans liked it, but I really think it was just a thing that like, it didn't look good at Qatar. There was just people falling over, just, you just kind of humping it a wee bit. There was nothing, really entertaining about it um, so like I think you know that needs to be addressed I think there could have been better ways to do it but well, that's you know that's in the window that's in the past now but we wake up early tomorrow and get on so you know obviously I'm still battling to the end I don't give up and uh, I would love to stand on the podium at least you know uh, you know obviously I would love to win it but podium would be would be massive for me as well um, especially after having Glasgow but yeah we keep working hard and we keep going but it's going to be fun tomorrow I think um, you know, I was looking, I, I said, oh, four events would be, be all right, but then I realised we're actually doing two upper body events back to back, so. And then we've got uh, arm over arm, which is grip and forearms, and then we have to try and squeeze our bags afterwards. So, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be fun, and I think there's going to be, like I said, a lot more points to win and a lot more points to lose as well. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to see how it goes tomorrow, but like I said, massive uh, condolence to Trey Mitchell. Hopefully he can rest up. I think it's uh, quite a serious injury, so... Hopefully he'll be back bigger and better and stronger. And he was looking very, very good. But um, again, these events can, an event like that, the the bull sled thing can just change like that, you know. And uh, hopefully, like I said, they just, uh, they maybe the event come back next year, but we'll do it a bit safer. But yeah, anyway, that's day one done. I'm going to rest up, eat and uh, get my head screwed on for tomorrow. I think there's still, still some rain going to be coming over here. So again, it's just, we've got four events tomorrow, but we don't know the plan. I mean, with the three events that were scheduled, it was going to be finishing at seven or eight o'clock anyway. So with the other four, it might be going on till eight, nine, ten. It could be a 12, 13 hour shift tomorrow. So it's going to be a long, long day. Um, I think there might be some showers tomorrow as well. So we just have to wait and see. But hopefully we can get the first event done and dusted with no rain. And then, you know, doing the axle in the rain is not as bad. Doing arm over arm in the rain is not as bad. Then doing the sandbags in the rain ain't as bad. It's just trying to get the finger fingers and log done nice and smooth and uh, get it over with. But anyway, I'll leave you as I love you and uh, we'll see you tomorrow, day two.